I actually had thought about serving my country since approximately the third grade. It just looked like a lot of courage and honor and dignity and character, and it was everything that I was about. When I reported my assault, I was told that if I wanted to keep my military career, I should drop any kind of verbiage of rape, take an aspirin, and go to bed. When I reported my assaults, I was treated like I was a liar. They had his fingerprints on my articles of clothing, where my zipper was broken. They found his DNA inside my rape kit. He was still found not guilty of anything. The commanding officer, his or her head is on the chopping block if a rape happens under their watch. The chain of command has a vested interest in keeping this under the rug. Until we create an independent office to handle these cases, we continue to place the unit commanders and the base commanders in a conflict of interest. This is a problem we can fix. We only have to want to. Our troops protect us, and we should protect them.